Welcome to the Room Manager for Office 365 presentation. Uh, this Room Manager solution runs specifically on your Office 365 site. Number one, the deployment is pretty easy. You create just a subsite by using the site template. And once the site is created with the subsite name you use, this is what you will see. Everything is um, the, the site content. So you will start to configure your resources like catering, like cars, like rooms. Uh, under the site content, we use out-of-the-box uh, libraries and lists with co which comes with the Room Manager uh, solution. You can upload new rooms by clicking New, Browse, Add it to your uh, rooms list. And once it's uploaded, you can just modify the fields in the Edit view. So we have a title, we have some keywords which can be used for the filtering. Uh, the location where the room is associated, we can add specific approver emails for a specific room. Uh, we can attach uh, layouts, room layouts for a specific room. We can use a coloring, we can enter the capacity field for the room and attach a floor plan as well. Once this is done for your rooms, you will do the same for the other resources like catering, uh, the same approach like parking, uh, like cars. Uh, all this kind of resources can be managed easily. Uh, on the site content. The second step would be then to share the site. Uh, this can be done with the out-of-the-box functionality in Office 365. So you can share the site with your groups and with your people and then people can access the site and this is the color calendar to see, month view, week view and day view out of the box are available. Each color represents a specific room in a specific location the floor plan for a room or the just the availability of a certain room can be checked directly on this calendar page and you can as well use here this filtering drop down by locations show me all the bookings in the fifth avenue show me all the bookings in the canary wharf show me all the all the bookings in all the locations or as said you would just like to see the bookings for the mars room here for example you can simply click on the check availability and the calendar will be filtered down and show you all the uh, bookings in a specific location. How does the booking work? So let's go today, Friday the 5th, open the day view, double click the free time slot. And now the booking form opens and uh, the booking form here as well is quite customizable. There are some limitations, but out of the box, this is the uh, event form which comes with the Office 365 event calendar. So we enter here uh, the title, the subject for the event. So let me add here Atlas Cloud. The user selects the site. Sites can be cities or regions. So let's say we want to make an event happen in New York. And when we select the site, the locations are filtered. So in New York, we have two locations. Locations are facilities with resources which can be booked. So we are looking for New York Fifth Avenue. And when I set the filter for New York Fifth Avenue for the given date and the pre-selected time, all the uh, available rooms and other categories for booking becomes available here in this booking form. Um, we can additionally invite additional attendees by using the people picker. Important to know that a notification email is sent to these attendees. Uh, you can separate the attendees by semicolon. You see as well a free busy calendar of the attendees. The free busy calendar is fetched from the exchange online calendar of the uh, of the person so the free busy calendar is only available and shows you uh, the the entries of a user when he has managed these uh, his appointments in the outlook online calendar we can add a description we have some categories which can be modified by yourself with the values uh, we can do all day event we can do recurrent events and now here you see the rooms, the equipments, the cars. Depending on your settings, you can hide the sections which are not needed. And for the rooms as well, for the other categories, you see as well that each category has these keywords. This can be managed by the administrator. So two rooms are available, a polo or visitor room. The user can actually now filter down the search results by using here these tagging features. 
let's say he wants a room which has air conditioning so he clicks on air conditioning and both rooms remain as both rooms has been tagged with the key or the tag air conditioning so let's combine and say air conditioning in the sixth floor so you see air conditioning sixth floor only one room with the name visitor room remains the same logic is for the other equipments for the cars and the other resources so you can just filter down the search results or add the uh, additional components that you need uh, to the event uh, and invite as well the external users to this event by entering their email address and click save now the request is sent to the all events list this is the main part of the solution as you can see this is a beautiful SharePoint list which can be further customized uh, by additional fields or with reporting or with views so you see it has a unique user ID a unique ID an event ID automatically attached uh, the subject line of the event the site the location the room which has been booked there's no room layout available for this room start time end time the internal attendees the external visitors the status of the request uh, pending so content approval can be set on or off uh, if it's set on, an approval will examine uh, the request and approve or deny the request. And once it's approved, after a refresh here, F5, you will see it's approved, the invitations are sent, the room is booked, the catering is booked, the equipment is booked. There's a lot of options that you can use. The rich ribbon with this extended functionality in Office 365. Uh, you can set alerts for people who are in charge of this event. A concierge can be informed by an email. Uh, a security officer can be informed by a short message service. You can connect all these events to Outlook. You can export to Excel. And there's a lot of customization functions behind the scene here under the event calendar settings. Uh, there is a lot you can do, create new views or add custom fields if needed back to the room manager side uh, as the event has been approved so when we go to the room manager calendar we see that for friday the 5th the event atlas cloud 001 with the details at fifth avenue in the visitor room has been added in the detail view you see all the details of the event this event can be edited it can be cancelled it can be deleted it can be updated so we use a lot of out-of-the-box functionality in Office 365 which gives you the freedom to customize further the solution the way you need all this as well is available in power app so if you have devices like iOS or Android based devices uh, you can connect uh, through power app to your Office 365 room manager site and everything will be available as well in the devices this way you can use conference room displays as digital displays for current meetings please watch the videos about power app and smart devices smartphones uh, for accessing the room manager site last but not least in the admin panel we have some settings which are available to the administrator uh, out of the box certain resources and categories which are not needed can be hidden as well the content approval can be set on or off thank you very much for your interest